Hi, today we're going to see how to create a double exposure text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. Now press the minus on your keyboard to zoom out. Now select the text tool, make sure the foreground is black. The font I'm using is Poppins Bold and the size is 1200. And then left click and now I'm going to type my text. So here it is. Select the alignment tool. Left click on the text layer, make sure the line is related to the image and now let's align it horizontally and then vertically. So here it is. If you want to remove these squares here, just select it. another tool. So now I'm going to bring in another image. So I'm going to bring in this image here. Then let's convert it. Now I want to keep shapes here of the trees here. So I need to turn the layer here into black and white. So first I'm going to desaturate this layer so go to colors saturation and then bring the scale slider here all the way down so here it is and then press ok and now go to colors again and then curves so now i'm going to darken dark pixels so here by moving this slider here so here like this and now i'm going to make the white pixels whiter so here so I think I'm going to so here I think I'm going to leave it here and then press OK and now I'm going to remove the white color here so on the trees layer this one here so go to layer transparency and then color to alpha so here you can't see anything because we have the background white so I'm going to hide it so here it is select the trees layer this one here so the color is white as you can see you can change if you click on it so here you can change any color you want let's cancel make sure the white color is checked and then press ok so here it is and now i'm going to select the text layer here reduce the opacity so that we can see here trees then let's show our background again and select the trees layer so i'm going to change the color of the background so I'm going to change it into a gray color. So here like this. So here it is, we can see much better. Select the trees layer and then let's select the move tool. So here and now select the scale tool, left click here on trees layer and now keep the control key down here while scaling to scale the layer proportionally. So like this, so here as you can see chain icon here is linked. So now I'm going to now this layer here, I want to have a nice effect. So I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Since I want to recognize the shape of the A letter here using the trees. So here, so I think I'm going to leave it here and then press enter. So here I left some part, I think. So I think it's okay here. And then select the text layer, right click on it, and then alpha to selection to make selection from the text. Then let's hide it, select the trees layer, right click, and then add layer mask, and then check the selection layer mask. This will hide everything else of the trees layer except the except what's inside the selection here. So and then make sure the selection is checked and then add. So here, Control Z to undo if you don't like the effect. I think that I'm going to select the Move tool, make sure you're on the trees layer. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit, so here like this. So here, and then right click on it, add layer mask, and then check the selection layer mask and then add. So here it is. And now right click on it, apply layer mask. And now let's remove the selection, so go to Select, None. And then right click here on the trees layer, layer to image size. And now I'm going to bring another image. So it's this women image here. So I'm going to drag it to GIMP. So here, as you can see, the shape here of the A letter is recognizable. And then let's convert it. And now I'm going to desaturate this layer as before. So go to colors, saturation. So here, bring the scale slider all the way down. And then press OK and now reduce the opacity here of the women layer and then let's move it 
here inside trees here so I want to keep the eyes here and the mouth I think it's okay here so select the trees layer this one here right click on it alpha to selection to make selection from the layer select the women layer right click on it add layer mask and then as before check the selection layer mask and then add so here it is and now right click on it apply layer mask and then let's remove the selection so go to select none to remove selection so here it is so as you can see the shape of the a letter is recognizable with the trees here and we have the face of the women here and now i'm going to merge down these two layers so here it is and now i don't need the text layer here anymore so just click on the x icon here to remove it so let's show the room layer again and now i'm going to change the background color so select the gradient tool make sure the gradient is fg to bg rgb and shape is radial and i'm just going to trace this so here it is now I want the white color in the middle, so just click on this icon here to switch between the foreground and background. Here I'm going to change the foreground color. I want a lighter gray color. So here, I'm going to, sorry, I think it's okay here. Press OK. Now select another tool here to confirm the gradient. And then let's select, let's merge down these two layers. So here it is. Right click, layer to image size. And now go to colors and then curves now let's add a little bit of contrast here so here to whiten so here it's too much i want to brighten this here i think here it's okay press okay and now i'm going to add vignette so go to filters light and shadow then here vignette there I'm going to move it so here. I want to reduce the effect. So here it is, and I'll press OK. So here it is. That's how you can create a double exposure text effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and uh, till next time.